Hey guys, Hiraku here. Hope everyone's doing great. Now, today uh, I want to go over the gear that I've been farming. So I want to show you what we got done since the last video. Last video we kind of got stuck in a bad spot because I wanted to get Apothecary Ascended and I wasn't able to. However, I did complete the, uh, I don't even know what it was actually. Oh, um, no, I don't know. What it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, an event. An event I did get some magic potions like who would have known i didn't even know this was available that's pretty freaking awesome actually because I, I really needed that so i got some magic potions i did get my apothecary fully ascended now so we're that much closer to progressing through the arena jumping in there and kind of moving through everything like that but more importantly guys okay so last time i did a ton of the speed stage okay but now look all right i got five level 40s so we're ready to roll when it comes to getting killed a six star, I just gotta get these guys up. My next goal is gonna be getting some three stars. People, I, I need to get, I guess what? Um, I want four, three stars, each of them. So uh, I guess about 20 level 30s is what I need to get in order to get these people leveled up. So we're gonna need a lot of leveling to do if you break it down like that in order to actually get killed a six stars. And we'll, we'll get in there eventually. We do get these new champions uh, from the events we did. We may or may not use them. Actually, let's take a quick look at them. Maybe some of you guys are getting them as well. If you're doing this event during this time, I heard this guy has a pretty cool animation. Actually, like, let me go show you this. Guy. Show you. It. Let me go show you guys this real quick. All right. Uh, where is this dude at? Right here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got a gun. I don't think I've ever seen a champion with a gun in this game. Watch this. I think he like drops his staff. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if he does it. All right. Do something. Do a trick. All right, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, I knew he was gonna do it. I saw this before. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's a pretty cool animation. All right, text one enemy, 30% chance of placing a poison. That's pretty good for ability one. Low chance, I guess 50% when booked. Uh, and actually 45% it looks like. Decrease attack, weak version, and fills turn meter and heals all allies with 50%. Okay, that could be decent. That could be a decent heal once he gets fully booked. Will we use him? Probably not, we got Apothecary, so we don't really need him. What I did do is I did farm a ton of the speed stage. Surprise, surprise. We're going for speed gear, speed gear, speed gear. So we're working on getting people leveled up. We're doing really good. Very close to getting killed a six star, in my opinion. Just a few more days of farming. We did burn our energy down, so we're actually at cap. I would have been below cap, but I, ca I uh, leveled up and my energy refilled. So it uh, feels bad, but it's no big deal. We're just right at cap now, so that's perfect. Now let's go in here and look at the speed gear we got. So yesterday I did say I was gonna get the speed gear from the daily login rewards. We got four pieces of five star epic speed gear, guys. This is really gonna help this apothecary get much faster, all right? Let's go to just new. We got 128 pieces. Obviously this purple piece is what I got from the daily login rewards. So let's sell these three star pieces. Uh, yeah, we're, not, we're just gonna sell them all. We got enough blues and uncommons now. We don't really need to keep it unless it has speed rolls on it here. We're not gonna keep it at all, and none of it does. Now this one down here, I believe did, yeah, that one right there did. We will keep that, and we'll keep this. We'll keep those two pieces, because maybe that roll speed. Apothecary does have a three-star weapon on him right now, and it doesn't have a speed roll on it, so it may be better than nothing. Speed, perfect. This could be a really good piece, especially to take into late in the game. Um, Nothing there necessarily. Crit damage is, eh, maybe it's five stars. So we'll keep it. Attack percent, five star. Not really gonna use that. Four star crit damage and defense. Four star, I'm a little bit more picky when it comes to keeping four star pieces, honestly. This didn't have speed or anything like that on it, no. So everything else is gonna be getting sold. We don't have to keep a ton of this because we're gonna have a lot of it. Crit damage, HP percent crit damage. I'll keep this just in case we need a shield. Hopefully we get a shield with a speed roll on it. The accuracy is not too bad for like a War Maiden. We gotta keep in mind we're gonna be gearing for War Maiden as well very soon. No speed there, no speed there. Uh, what is the main stat here? I believe it was attack, flat attack, and this is flat defense. Flat HP, crit damage, that's pretty, that's good. I wish it was crit rate, crit damage, I don't really need at this point. HP percent with some accuracy, we'll keep that for possibly for War Maiden, because War Maiden does need accuracy to place her decreased defense. We'll keep some of the d defense ones, and then other than that, everything else is gonna be sold. So it's all three star. We have one with speed on it, no big deal. Let's hope this purple piece has speed. No, it doesn't, but that's actually really good though. This could be very good for War Maiden, like I said. But keep in mind, we're gearing for her as well. 
Most of these are all going to get sold. We already have a good haul from last time from gear. If we have like a, uh, I don't know, we don't really have anything. Dang it. I was hoping that would be main stat speed. We're not going to use this flat, no, the flat attack with speed rolls. Not going to be worth it. We get a little bit of speed out of it, but overall, not going to last very long. Here, we're just looking for speed main stat. That is the only thing I'm looking for. And of course, it is basically impossible to get. I didn't expect anything to have it. We have two pieces right there. They're three stars, so very low. Um, but they are rare, so maybe... What, what were the stats? Okay, so it has accuracy. That could possibly be good for War Maiden. So we have these pieces right here. Let's see if this rolls a nice little upgrade for our Apothecary. I believe the last one was a five star. It had speed roll on it, I believe. And it has a, a decent amount, so it's nothing bad, per se. Uh, hopefully this does roll into speed. I'd really like for it to do it twice, but this piece would last us a long time. A five star helmet, honestly, my Siffy on my main account, I think has five star blue pieces. So maybe six star, I don't know. But overall, this piece isn't bad. We can definitely put it on War Maiden. I don't think it's, it's not gonna help Apothecary just yet. We can still roll it later on, but the first roll is nothing impressive. Now this weapon, so we don't have any speed right here on the weapon at all. This weapon could roll better for us. I was really hoping we get some, uh, I mean, obviously this weapon's going to roll better. It's gonna be a plus six, I believe. It should be that, I don't know, let's see. Okay, so plus five. So we'll up five speed on there. That's super easy upgrade, super easy math. Our apothecary is looking really close to that 200 speed. Shouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, we don't have any gloves with speed on them. At this point, I'm almost, con oh no, with speed rolls. These do have speed, no speed there, unfortunately. Everything else does have speed though. We need some five star boots, but four star, it's okay. That's gonna get us quite a ways. So we have some stuff for War Maiden when we get her. Overall, looking very good. Let's go ahead and get Apothecary upgraded with his speed boots a little bit because I want to go in the arena and show you guys what difference this makes. Now, granted, we don't have a um, speed lead champion. like That would be uh, your Hykatoons, your Spirit Host, which is like the uh, plus 10% speed in the arena, plus 10% speed wherever it may be. We don't have that champion, so we uh, got to just... Do with what we have so, but our our apothecary should be high enough speed where honestly they they shouldn't nobody should outspeed us to be honest like i'll be very surprised if anybody in this low level of arenas outspeeds us this is actually pretty decent especially for war maiden if we get some better boots these will go good on her so she, he's at 181 kale is at 170 so apothecary will be going before kale i need to get grinner changed in his gear Let's go here and do the challenges. I think I should have completed all of these. Oh no. Four star higher boots. So even after doing 130 runs, say, I still didn't get these boots. Holy crap. So maybe we need to go in there and farm this, the boot stage possibly. And then we can equip this. Equip an attack type champion with four star higher gauntlets, boots, and a chest plate with attack percent. Um, Four champions with three, four star. Okay. So we do this with attack percent. Chest plate boots. I may have just sold everything, which is not a huge deal because I can go in there and uh, just re get it back. Four star higher attack percent boots. Yeah, so we probably don't have any boots with attack percent. Like I said, not a huge deal. We do. We do have some. So we can make that work. I don't want to do it just yet, though. What I want to do is jump in here in the arena and show you guys what I'm talking about. We do have the tag team arena unlocked now. Dang it. We got to set this stuff up. So the bazaar is nice. It does give us a little extra benefits. Okay, so we don't have to set anything up. Perfect. Let's do this. Um, so, obviously, we're going to put Apothecary in. Apothecary is going to go inside of, in, in instead of War Priest, because War Priest is a support champion, but Apothecary is just so much better. Shaman at least brings a res, which is better than nothing. So, Apothecary is going to do his speed boost, turn him on auto. Kale's going to go next. He may even get another turn before one of them get a turn, honestly. Like, that's how fast Kale may be right now. Uh, not quite. But he's still pretty fast. Pretty daggone fast. So it didn't really matter there. They had quite a bit of damage going out on us. We should have probably saved that res. But overall, as our champions get leveled up, as we continue to progress, it'll be better and better. Now this person has a Gorgrob, which he should be in the lead. Because if he was in the lead, it would have that speed boost. From Gorgrob. His aura. His aura is a speed boost. But he's not in the lead, so they're not able to do that, unfortunately. 
For them. Unfortunately for them, fortunately for me. Let's heal Kale up some. A big heal from Gorg. This champion's a very, very good champion to pull very early on in the game. Just because he has a, a res, a team res, and a speed boost. Excellent arena champion. If you pulled Gorg, Gorg Rob, definitely level him up. Very, very good champion. Like, I have to kill him right now, but we should be fine. We should be able to beat this Kale. Not too much of an issue. I think one of them has Frost set or something. Like, I don't know why I was keep getting frozen from that. Um, and then when it comes to progressing through the arena, though, like, we're still in a bad spot. Like, we kind of have to get Kale to 6-star, and I'm going to be doing that soon. Like I said, the goal is, by the end of this week, you get Kale to 6-star, and you guys are going to see the massive difference it makes when it comes to progressing through the campaign, when it comes to doing the clan boss damage. Like, you're going to see the clan boss damage shoot up so much, and hopefully some of you guys who are following along in this free-to-play series, who are maybe a few steps ahead who's kind of had a little bit more time to play the game hopefully you guys are starting to see that like hey you already got your six star done you're jumping in the clan boss you're jumping in the arena and you're really starting to see holy crap getting this champion a six star getting on fully ascended getting uh all their masteries done really 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 helps them out here is a little bit weird um kale nah, that's not bad i mean it's not going to be able to win i don't think because Elaine, she hits so hard. But, so I really want to kill him. Don't think I'm going to be able to. Definitely won't be able to kill Elaine. Let's see. Yeah, no, that was a weak hit anyways. So, it, it is what it is. We don't got no res. So, maybe if I would have saved Grinner's res, maybe I would have been able to do better. Like I said, once we get once we get War Maiden unlocked, guys, you're going to see a big difference in this arena stuff. We'll go ahead and do the one more battle just to get this daily quest done. But honestly... The arena is just very limited to how much we can do. The decreased defense is really what sets it off, okay? So we'll have Apothecary with the speed boost, War Maiden with the decreased defense, and Kale will just literally one-shot basically everybody, even before level 60. And now when we get to level 60, 6-starred, boom. He's going to be hitting so much harder. But until then, he's still going to be doing super good. Very, very helpful. Decreased defense just softens the people up so, so much. So we'll claim this, claim this, increase champion's level, and then we gotta purchase something. Because obviously, I already did the spin and the energy. I did all that kind of stuff. I don't really know if I need that. Oh, well, that works. Just use one brew. Not a big deal. We have plenty of brews. Easy way to finish that. Tomorrow, I'll be grinding out some more of that speed stage, most likely. Um, I really want to finish that out. I really want to get some champions leveled up, and I really want to get killed to six star. By the end of the week is the goal, like I said. I think it's possible. I think we can definitely do it, guys. And what I've been doing, I've just been leaving an auto clicker on. I'll turn the auto clicker on, walk away for a little bit, come back. My champions will be leveled up to 20. Swap them out, turn the auto clicker on, come back. Energy's gone, so on and so forth. Obviously, we're getting energy no problem. Like right now, like we got 475 energy, okay? I just ran this down today. Like we have more than enough. I have some right here to claim. I probably have some in the challenges to claim, maybe. Here's a bunch of silver to claim. 25,000. So we're actually making some money now, which is awesome. Before, I know we were freaking ridiculously low. We got 100 there we can get, 80 there. So we're definitely... Crap, I don't actually need that. 50 there. Uh, we need to do the Void. Actually, I need to go ahead and do that. I think that's open right now. There's stage 2 of the Void Keep. Oh, crap. It just closed. Today is technically Sunday, but the thing's a day ahead. Dang it. Now we gotta wait a week before we can do that. Well... It is what it is. Feels bad, but that's what happens when you uh, slack. That's what happens when you slack him. So we're doing all that. So yeah, the basically the thing right now, guys, is um, I'm going to work on getting Kale to 6-star. It's going to open up a lot of stuff. The clan boss is kind of floating around the same area. With that said, I meant to accept this guy's application. Holy crap. If you've applied to this free-to-play clan, guys, I'm super sorry I didn't get your applications accepted. Um, I'm going to open up a new clan. The, uh, there was somebody, I think, I remember this person, he's, they asked, and that would be, okay, so, dad, holy crap, this is not a free play, I mean, this is experience, like, this is, I'll make a new clan, we can definitely get a new clan set up, guys, and I'll let you guys know the information for that one, and we can start joining that, but right now, this one's full, there's gonna be some people leaving, I'm sure, like, people down here, uh, Bruso, I don't know, maybe he's gonna be coming back, a few of these people who are, haven't been playing for a little while, We'll have to see how that plays out. Three days inactivity. Typically, I assume the person's quit, so then we just boot them out. 
Uh, okay, I hope that was two star. I really hope that was two star. I wasn't paying attention. I assumed it was. This is good. This is really good. Like the accuracy, I like that a lot. I'm gonna jump in here, guys, and show you what my clan boss team is looking like. Actually, I'm gonna throw uh, apothecary in here because apothecary is taken up now. He's geared. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get the top chest in two keys on normal. So we'll take apothecary and swap him in here. Okay, this isn't a bad team to be honest. Like. We could probably throw Jizzo in there later on, but right now, Apothecary is pretty fast. He'll be boosting the speed. Kale would be getting more turns, more turns, higher chance of placing the poisons. Granted, this is a weak affinity boss. Like, we are weak affinity against them, so he's going to be hitting us quite a bit harder. So it may make this a little bit difficult, but, I mean, that we're landing the debuffs. So if it's a weak hit, like these are popping up, you have zero chance to land the debuffs. It's not, a weak, it's not weak hits right now, though. Like, we only get a few of them. And this is the main ability. That sucks. Like, that disintegrate or whatever it's called, that is the main ability we really want to actually hit and land the poisons because it can land three of the 5% poisons. These poisons are kind of weak. Like, this is the 2.5%. We're not too worried about that. And yeah, kind of what I expected here, though. Kale is doing all the damage. Everybody else is dying super quick, super, super fast. We get a few reses up. But overall, Kale is just doing all the damage. And that's typical. It's to be expected. So what I'll do is I'll just go in here to do the easy clan boss and just go ahead and get the top chest there. But just know that between this video and the next video, my number one focus is going to be on leveling up more food in the campaign. I'm going to try to get as many three stars leveled up as I can. Let's go ahead and get the top chest here real quick. And then we can move on to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and see if I can level anybody up from two stars to three stars now. And then I believe I got to get 20 three star champions because if each of my four star champions my level 40 champions need four four star champions in order to get ranked up to the next level not including themselves of course then five times four is 20 so i'll need 20 level 30 champions at this point which oh my gosh when you start breaking down the math like that is insane because i need 20 three star champions that means that in order to get those three star champions taken up to four star, I'll need 20 times three because each one of those three star champions are going to need three people. So I'll need 60 more champions, I believe. Oh my gosh. I hope my math is off somewhere, guys. Let me know if the math is weird somewhere there, but I'm pretty sure I'll need 60 level one three star champions plus... 20 level three star champion th level 30 three star champions oh my gosh this is it's just become like whenever you break down the math like that guys it becomes oh whoa 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 a lot of champions there but whenever you just take it take your time you don't actually get into the math you're like okay this isn't too bad you know i'm just progressing along not an issue we'll get our six star when we get there start breaking down the numbers and it's like exponentially increases and it's kind of crazy but we'll get there not a problem. It's not that much. Like we'll we'll run the campaign. We'll be getting the speed gear. Apothecary is gonna be a beast. We'll cruise our way to silver one, guys, and it'll be easy breezy. Okay, we just have to get to that six star point. And then guess what? We get to do another six star. So we get the first six star, and then we do the next six star, which the next one won't be as bad because we will be farming the uh chapter twelve. Kale will be moving through the campaign a lot faster. So instead of like thirty seconds on stage six or forty five seconds, maybe it drops down to like twenty seconds or 10 seconds possibly. I don't know if it could be that fast, but either way, we dropped significantly. Now we did unlock these advanced quests. Awesome. So, so about 20 turns against the Demon Lord, that's a joke. <laughs> Beats three faction war stages without losing a champion. Yeah, that's probably a joke as well. Uh, well, maybe if it's Dark Elves, unlock a mastery for any champion, okay. I would like to complete all of these as possible. But uh, I don't know how possible it's going to be, to be honest, because these are a bit difficult. These definitely aren't for beginners. I mean, it's it's a advanced quest for a reason. Now, this is the best set by far. If you can use these, if you can fuse these sets, do so. Uh, it said use a charm, right? Let's see if we can get a helmet. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I think it said just use a charm. Maybe we get a legendary. Oh, okay. Ah, dang it. Well, we'll sell that. Let's uh, let's see if we get lucky. Let's try it one more time. All right. We got two more tries we can do. Might as well go for broke. Perfect. This is actually really good. Five star with crit rate, accuracy. We'll keep that. We'll take this charm off. 
Just just give me some a chest plate. Uh I would like a chest plate, but I don't really need a chest plate, to be honest. I really want anything that can go with this set. A chest plate, ah, uh, let's do it. Let's let's just see. Maybe we get something really good, okay? Uh gauntlet. Ooh, oh, okay. Five star crit damage. Hopefully it triple rolls into crit rate. This would be amazing on Kale. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see if we got some like insane luck just now. Okay. So this. If this triple rolls in crit rate, that's going to be massive for Kale. I don't think we're going to be able to even use it. Yeah, like, it's a good piece, but it's not for our level. Like, we're a little bit too low, a little bit too new into the game right now to really make use of this piece. However, that helmet we got is a good piece. The crit rate and accuracy, definitely a good piece. Maybe not for Kale, but definitely for War Maiden. Let's see if we can get a, um, can we go down here, perception? Let's see if we get four to five stars. We got a ton of these we can make, I guess, right? Ten of them. Four to five stars, I mean, that's better than a lot, so we're going to get. We'll keep that. Let's use a few of these. Dang, we got some more helmets. Like, our head hurts. They're worried about our head getting hurt. Holy crap, another helmet. Four-star helmet. Maybe we get anything, something else other than a helmet this time. A shield. Nice. And then we got two more. Did it just increase in price on us? What the heck? What kind of scam is this? <laughs> we might as well go ahead and fuse it, I mean, because there's nothing else we can use these resources on. Looks good. Crit damage would be really good. We'll keep that. And then um, it said we could make two, but now we can only make one. I don't know what's going on. What's going on there? I thought it said two. And then the Swift Parry is an interesting set, but honestly, like this set is a little bit weird. I don't like it too much. The Swift Parry is nice. We need a lot of those pieces to really do stuff with those. So we'll just keep that. Let's go in here and see if we got anything worth keeping. We have some speed on this, which these sets obviously have speed as well. Four star. I really wish it was five star. It'd be better, of course. But hey, we're very early. Dang it. Why is it not going to roll the speed? <laughs> Maybe it gets one, one rolling speed. Because this is really good on Kale. This plus 40 accuracy and the extra speed. Like, this is super helpful in somebody like Kale. It's literally made for him. Not for, and maybe War Maiden. Definitely good for her as well. Especially, I mean, because 40 accuracy early on in the game goes a long way. Now, nah, that kind of sucks now. Like, it doesn't have anything really useful to it. Let's see if we get something lucky. Like, we have to get something lucky, right? We got all those unfortunate helmets crafted. There's no way we don't get something. Resistance? Um, this is looking like some pretty garbage rolls. I mean, resistance again. Hey, you know, just go ahead and give me triple resistance, okay? Let's see if we get that. I don't get triple speed. I don't get any speed rolls. Maybe we get triple resist. Do, 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 do. And we wait. Well, we got crit damage once at least. Well, there is that, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. That's going to wrap the video up here. We're going to be crafting some more stuff in the Forge as time goes on, of course. I need to do my Faction War Battles. We don't have a whole lot of champions for this just yet. We actually have, like, zero champions for a lot of the... Oh, take that back. We're going to be doing this. But we're just going to be turning it on, let it run. It does its thing. We'll try to complete some of the advanced quests if possible, but not a big deal if we can't. But other than that, guys, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Discord. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Taraku, live every day except for Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Time. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you all in the next video.